Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarot's International Infinite Truth Seekers Tarot Card Broadcast. Today I'm doing Capricorn's Astrology and Tarot Card Reading. I already have the Astrology Cards laid out. I just got to do the shuffle for the Tarot Cards. What message do I have for Capricorn? Uh, the Jupiter Card. The Numinous. Conjunction. The tenth house. And the third house. Okay, Capricorn. The card that came out is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is saying that you're going to be dealing with some type of competitiveness, all right? Now, it might not be you being competitive. It might be someone else being competitive. But it's like you're going to have to, it's almost like you're going to be fighting them off, all right? Um, also, uh, for some of you, this could be about business. For some of you, this could be about work, all right? Um I said business or work. The reason I said business or work is because some of you are employees and some of you are self-employed. But for some of you, this could also be romantic. Like taking a stance about uh, a spouse. So the thing is, is if you're a, 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 a lover, if you're someone that is dealing with or a spouse or a lover and or you you don't like social media flirting and all of that well the reality is is that it's still gonna people are still gonna flirt with your spouse or lover all right if they're attracted to them they don't care if they got a ring on their finger or not that's how some people are all right some people don't respect that now the jupiter card the Prince of uh, Staffs, this person is somebody that you're going to um, meet or you already know. The thing about it is, is that Jupiter is about expansion, all right? But it is about a lot of other things. But you have to make a decision if this is somebody that you want to be in business with, if it's about business. You can't be partners with just anyone, all right? So if there's some type of contract and you don't understand the contract, you need to get an attorney, all right? Now, the numinous card is about mystery, all right? It's about stuff that you don't know. But the ten, of, the ten of Pentacles is there. So the Ten of Pentacles is talking about, for for some of you, it's the wealth of a relationship, all right? That you don't even know that you have that kind of wealth of a relationship of commitment. And for some of you, it's also about finances, all right? But it's still something that you have to work for. You have to work for a wealth of commitment. You have to work for finances, all right? Now, uh, the conjunction. The conjunction is talking about the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Now, this is something that you should be pleased with because the Ten of Swords is saying that uh, there's an end of a, a, a cycle or, or a pattern with betrayal lies, manipulation, deceit with an individual. The seven of swords, this person was somebody untrustworthy, all right? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Just because somebody has a, a criminal a record, right, it doesn't mean that that person can't be rehabilitated. Now, some people choose not to be re rehabilitated, all right? But it's it's the end of a cycle or pattern of dealing with a certain individual with that type of behavior that doesn't want to be rehabilitated, right? Now, the 10th house is talking about reputation. The two of staffs and the eight of pentacles, all right? So there's some type of action that you need to take to protect yourself regarding your reputation because the eight of pentacles is talking about how dedicated you've been to your work, all right? Wh whatever it is that you do, it doesn't matter if you're a cashier, all right? It does not matter if you are a waiter and you make $2.50 an hour, but you get tips. It is talking about the dedication, all right? For some of you, um, uh, uh, be careful how you speak to a person 
at your workplace because of reviews, all right? Because that person can leave a bad review about you and you're like, oh, you could have been having a bad day, all right? Or well, some people say bad day. I don't think any day is a bad day, all right? But you could have been having an unpleasant experience or having a certain kind of attitude and, and not happy about your situation, but talking to someone in a certain way as if they're responsible for that situation when they're not. And some people do it and not even aware that they do it, all right? Now, the third house is talking about perception. So, the Prince of Pentacles, all right? The Prince of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Staffs, all right? The Prince of Pentacles is talking about you, uh, Capricorn, all right? It's about your per perception, all right? With the Nine of Pentacles, about your independence, about your security, about security of self, about commitment to self. The Four of, uh, uh, of Pentacles is also talking about, it is, it is, it is, I said commitment of self, all right? Well, the Four of Pentacles is still kind of like the Nine of Pentacles, but this is talking about your residence, your 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 home, okay? Uh, the, now, the Five of Staff, again, is talking about a hottie contest, all right? People wanting to fight and bicker because they want your attention and vying for your attention, or it could be you wanting to fight and vying for their attention, all right? But this is talking about more than one person, all right? Now, I'm going to tell you like this. I, I, I really want to tell you if a, when, when y'all deal with these type of situations, because some of y'all have already, all right? But if you so happen to date somebody, all right, that person isn't married to you. And even if that person, y'all have not said, are we going to be exclusive, all right? Uh, do you believe in monogamy? All right. If y'all haven't had those kinds of conversations and that person goes out, meet somebody else, attracted to someone else, and you find out about it and they like, oh, well, that does not mean that you're supposed to try to hurt that person physically. All right. That means that you have the opportunity to say, well, since you want to behave that way, I have enough dignity for myself to not act a fool about somebody that didn't care enough to tell me that they wanted to be with someone else. So there's a difference when a person tells you they want to be with someone else and they don't. But it's about how you respond, all right? Because in all honesty, they're not worth going to jail for. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you all for listening and namaste.